Hey there guys, MCP here, and today we are going to be doing some Invaded Landscape PvP. A little bit of a different, um, video today. What is going on? Wolfie, hand over, sharp fives, or target. By the way, do you have Snapchat? I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. I'm confused. And now... Okay. Let's just... What is going? What's actually going on? <laughs> Make the bots do slash spawn. No, if if they all do slash spawn, the server is gonna die of lag. Okay, what? Well, can I just da disable chat? Uh, chat setting slash settings <gasps> and global chat. Let's just. I don't. I don't even. I'm not up for that. You can do GC, right? Slash DGC. Yeah, there we go. I'm. I'm just. Nope. Nope. Gonna block that. It's giving me too much lag. Too much stuff on my screen at once for this 15 year old computer to handle but guys we have some very very important stuff to talk about in this video which is why there is no you know montage coming out today there's no top whatever pvpers it's not a comedy montage nothing like that because guys after four months of waiting my moderator application has been accepted and i will probably probably being the keyword put stuff up on the screen so you guys can see. I don't really know. It's, Google Chrome doesn't even work right on my computer, so I'm not always able to do stuff. I can't spell. Um, but yeah, my moderator application has been accepted. After four months, along with Epic ZX Power, who's been waiting for like seven or eight months, and Luke Loves Candy, who's been waiting for around a month. Um, and I personally, just this is... This is probably obvious, at least for my own application. I think that all of our applications deserve to be accepted. I don't know about how the... That's a that's a nice name. Uh, I don't know exactly how the interview is going to go for myself or anyone else. Um, but all the applications, I can tell... Like, I know personally that mine took a lot of time. And I did spend a lot of time on it, uh, editing it. Just trying to make it basically as perfect as I could. Uh, squeeze an, as much information as possible into it and all that and it did get it accepted so looks like I did something right <laughs> and I looked at Luke Loves Candies his one was shorter um, but I know the guy personally he's super mature he'd be a great staff member and Epic ZX Power also spent a lot of time on his application it's pretty evident whenever you read it so now even though my moderator application has been accepted, that doesn't mean I necessarily am a moderator. There's a few stages after these, which I'm going to tell you guys about. If you're coming from Invaded, you probably already know this. If you're just someone that watches my videos, you might not. You probably don't, actually. So that's that's why I'm here to explain it. So let me go over to a place where I'm going to get, you know, more than 20 frames a second, and then I will try to explain this a little bit. So as you guys can see in tab, uh, I'm on the third row near the top, uh, and you guys can see MCBYT has the green, the green, uh, I guess, tag, color, rank color, whatever you'd like. Uh, and that is the color of Lord, and also I think it's the same color as Builder Rank, which Luke Loves Candy already has, which I think is possibly one of the reasons why his application already got accepted, since he already has some form of staff rank. Um... So I guess this just, like, gives him even more permissions, which is great. I mean, he's got double rank now. I mean, and they've already worked with him, so they might not even need to um, interview him. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool for him. But, as I said, there's stuff that happens after the application is accepted. And that stuff consists of a trial run, which is what's on most servers, and something that I've actually found to be quite rare... Um, except for on servers where they pay you to be staff, which isn't invaded, at least as far as I'm, like, no. If, if they, if they pay me to moderate their server, that's, like, a, an added bonus, but I'm pretty sure they don't do that. Um, except for maybe the managers, maybe. Not, I'm not exactly sure how, um, their lives go, because, you know, they are managers and not me. But there's an interview that happens immediately, well not immediately, but basically whenever you can after your application has been accepted. I'm going to have the next like week or so um, afternoons uh, free because obviously I do have school so I can't really do it any of the times before that. As I think I've already said, 
in a different video that I, I recorded another video right before this, um, and I think the, that video is actually going to come out after this, um, so, yeah, but my school schedule is basically, I wake up at, like, 5.30, and then I do school until, like, 4.30 p.m., so it, it takes up 11, 11 hours of my day, basically, which is kind of a lot for school, uh, even though my school only lasts seven hours long. Well, actually, no, it, it lasts eight hours, I think, and then on short days, it lasts six, um, but it takes up a lot of time is what I'm saying. So I basically only have like 4.30 p.m. to like 10 p.m. to do stuff. So, you know, that's five and a half hours. It's not necessarily a short time. I would have definitely liked more. Um, you know, maybe my, maybe it'd be better if I didn't wait an hour before school each day and also have an hour long bus ride. But, you know, that that's not the point. Basically, I'm going to be free for the next like week. So that's probably where my interview is going to take place. And I will get back to you guys, probably make an update video in this next week. Um on if that gets accepted, and then I will go into my trial moderator, um, phase, if I get accepted, of course. Uh, now, guys, the way that the interview works, uh, the reason why they need it is because a lot of people can lie on their applications and not know it, uh, or, like, and the staff reviewing the application may not know it, because it's not always immediately evident, and, you know, they could just say, like, I was staff on this server, but it's not that big of a server, and I don't have any proof, which is part of my application. There are a few servers that I've staffed on that I don't think I have any proof of. Like, I have proof of me having YouTuber on Conspiracy Craft, but no proof of me having Trial Mod on Conspiracy Craft. Or was it not Trial Mod? Helper, I think. Um, and same for a few PE servers. Um, but what I, for what I could, I did add um, as much proof as possible. But, uh, yeah. So they interview people not only to test the maturity, but test, not chest, uh, not only to test their maturity, but also their uh, trustworthiness and honesty. And obviously, since I haven't lied in my application, at least not as far as I know of, but I mean, if I accidentally lie, I don't really think it's a lie. It's like a, I guess just something you didn't know. I don't know. My cat's trying to come in one second. My door doesn't even close all the way. That gets a little annoying. And this video, by the way, is going to be pretty much unedited because it's kind of just a, like, me to you thing. It's not really meant to be, like, a really special, heavily edited video like most of my invaded PvP videos are, except for the ones that I get ranks in. Um, so, since I haven't lied, at least not that I'm aware of on my application, I should be fine with that. Now, the main thing that I'm kind of concerned about is maturity. I personally think I'm pretty mature as a human, not just for my age. I am definitely mature for my age from people I've met that are my age. I'm actually more mature than like people in my school that are grades higher than me um, for various reasons um, that I'm not gonna all list here because I don't want to sound like cocky or anything. It's just like they are the facts as to why I am like more mature than the majority of the population in my age range. Um, but I, I don't want to list them all here, although I probably could. Um, but some other people tend to disagree with me on my maturity levels, which is fine. They can have their own opinion, and I'm usually not offended by it, unless they're like Sifro, for example, who can't really abstain from cursing in every sentence. Um, and has a lot of, a lot of, uh, lapses and, like, uh, contradiction, contradicting statements. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, I'm, I'm basically fine with that. Um, some people think that I'm mature, not mature because I say stuff in chat that isn't, like, super mature. Just because I don't, like, put full period, period, I can't, I can't talk, it's, it's midnight, I'm tired, sorry. Just because I don't like put proper pronunciation, or not pronunciation, uh, punctuation, and, you know, spelling and everything, because usually when I don't have those, it's some form of joke thing, um, like a joke message. But a lot of people think that because I say joke messages in chat, 
that I'm immature. And no, it's not. It's that I've got friends here that already know that I am relatively mature and we just joke around with each other because that's what friends do. The only difference is that I'm doing it in-game instead of in real life because these friends happen to be in-game and not in real life like my other friends are, which is no different than... It's not anything abnormal. I, I would imagine all these people criticizing me do the same thing in game, if not in real life, but probably also in real life. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I personally don't think my maturity is a concern. I think I'm pretty mature. If they don't think I'm mature, then you know, have an opinion. If you provide me any instances where I've actually like been Im been immature and not like been joking around with a friend, please, please send. But as far as I know, there's very few, I'm not going to say there's none, there have been times where I've been immature, everyone has had those times, so maybe like Albert Einstein or something, um, but I think I'm alright, uh, there's been very few times where I've been immature here, Reagard, hello, how's it going, um, and then after that, you go into the trial mod phase, which is arguably the easiest of the three basically just keep your word that's basically all you've got to do during the trial mod phase as long as you didn't lie during the other things and you don't somehow have really bad circumstances happen coincidentally right at the time that you get your rank you'll be perfectly fine with trial mod it's just testing out like what you've actually said to see if it's actually true um and application and uh Interview are much harder. I'd say interview is the hardest. Application, spend a few hours making an application. Well, in total, not straight, obviously. Like, maybe spend half an hour at first, and then over the next few weeks, edit it, like, ten minutes at a time. Just make it as good as you can, like I did. And uh, you can make you can get some pretty decent applications. Um, whether they'll be accepted or not, I guess it depends on your reputation, reputation in the community. Um, and I think I have a decent reputation i don't have much of a reputation but of the reputation that i do have it's mostly mostly positive comments um yeah and then there is uh what else was i gonna say yeah interview interview is probably the hardest i would say because uh it's just you have any degree of social anxiety or like even getting nervous like if this is something really important to you your interview might be a little a little painful to go through. Uh, not physically painful, obviously, but you're probably going to be nervous. You're probably going to be stuttering. And you have to try to, if you get accepted, if you apply and you guys do get accepted, you have to try to abstain from that as much as you can. I haven't done my interview yet, as I said earlier, but I'm going to be trying to be as least uh, nervous as possible, if that's even a thing I can really control. I... I'm very rarely nervous about anything, but when I am, it's there's literally nothing I can do about it because I've already done everything I can. Um, but yeah, if I do get staff, guys, by the way, because I have been getting this suggestion from multiple people, and not only that, I do really think that this is a good idea uh, for multiple reasons. For starters, it could help my channel. Secondly, it's super fun to record. I've done this in the past. It's I know from experience. It's extremely fun to record. And this was back when I couldn't even like do anything about it. And I know I haven't said what I'm talking about yet, but I will in like 15 seconds. So don't get mad at me. Um, and other people want it, so it's, it's not just me. It's someone that's been on my channel for a while. And that is a well, it's not. It's a catching hacker series. But for me, it's going to kind of evolve from Catching Hacker series and become a staff series because on other servers, I just said, here are some hackers, and then I would submit them to um, staff of said server. This time around, I will be staff of that server. I will be able to ban them myself. I will be able to mute, ban, kick, whatever is deemed fit by the rules and myself and any higher admins, depending on what the actual situation is. Um... And that way I can, like, actually do justice because I know in a lot of the past Catching Hackers videos, a lot of them didn't get banned even though it was blatant that they were hacking just because they were on servers with kind of an active staff. And I know that the server is not the same as those. There are, like, 
half the staff here are really, really active uh, in game, and the other half you just kind of see like occasionally on Discord forums in game. They're just kind of spread over everywhere, which is odd. Like, for example, I don't think I've ever seen Temple on, but he is a developer, so he's probably coding ma the majority of the time, not in-game all that much, unless the uh, server's whitelisted. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a staff series, catching hackers, banning, kicking, muting, uh, whatever is, you know, standard procedure. Unless it's an unstandard rule break, then I'll figure something out with the other staff. And I will also probably be doing some stuff similar to, like, what Zelkum does. Similar. Not the same, but similar. Um, so I might do some sort of, like, admin trolling videos. Nothing, obviously, too insane, because, like, abusing your staff rank is pretty much, like, one of the worst things you can do in Minecraft. And I'd, I would say it's worse than hacking, objectively. Because, um, like... You can't really do much about it unless other staff ban you, and they're less likely to do that since you're staff. PT Jr. Rip. I don't know who that is, but they're dead. And the Sky Captain. I see banning all the people that were spamming, like, an hour ago. That wasn't an hour ago. That was, like, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He's just doing a massive ban wave. Um, some of these people have actually decent names, though, like Evolved Gamers seems like they probably hacked the account or something um <clears throat> anyways yeah that's basically all i wanted to say um wish me luck on my moderator app uh, um, uh interview and then the trial phase that comes after that but i think i'll do all right in the trial phase and uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel although i'm pretty sure that most of the people that are going to be watching this video are already subscribed to the channel or coming from invaded lands uh, and if you are coming from Invader Lands, please do. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Okay.